Really quick guys, before this video starts, I wanted to say this because I did say it in the video a little bit, but not enough. So this whole Integra, I bought it with the intent of buying it and building it as cool as possible for less than $5,000 to show people that you can own a cool car if you budget and if you do the work yourself, if you look at things on marketplace and stuff like that. So I didn't say this in the video, but I bought the car for $3,000. This is technically the first mod we've done to the car and it cost... For me, it was free because it was a sponsorship thanks to Max Speeding Rods. Use code SMOOTH for 10% off your purchase. And the link is going to be in the description down below. Thank you, Max Speeding Rods. But if you don't have the sponsorship, you can use my code to get 10% off. And these exact coilovers come to around $200, depending on where you live. Obviously, with taxes and shipping and stuff like that, it can go higher or lower. But it's around $200. So now we're sitting at $3,200 in this build. And we have all the other parts. We just got to put them on. And then when we do those parts, I'll update you guys and let you know like where the build's at but yeah that's kind of the whole point for this build was to try and keep it under five thousand dollars to prove to people that they can make a cool car for less than five thousand dollars i just wanted to put that out there before we get into the video but anyway without further ado here's the video what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is mark Roden, and that's right it's finally time after like seven long months where i finally am modifying the integra and look who's back Look who it is! You guys are OGs, you know who they are, but this is Zach. Hi Zach. Hey Mark. And then there's Chris. Hi Hello. Chris. Ben's not here because Ben is... Ben has a girlfriend. Different. Ben's got a girlfriend now, dude. He's doing backflips and everything. He's a, he's a crazy guy. <laughs> Just put that clip in, dude. Oh yeah. Sure. But, uh, yeah, so today, yeah, finally a mod, and it's a sponsored video by the wonderful Max Speeding Rods. Who also, if you guys remember, were the people who sent me my coilovers for my Z. So, a huge shout out to them. They're just always... Alright, ladies and gents. The RC blows the coilovers. So, obviously in the box you get things like Max Speeding Rods being all happy saying, Thank you, man. You're welcome, Max Speeding Rods. Well, thank you, actually. I didn't do anything. 3M tape. Don't know what that would be for. And then, the coilovers. These, I'm assuming, are probably the... Bunks? And that one would be the, this is probably the rear. Yeah, this is probably the rear because it doesn't have the things for the brake lines. That one does have the things for the brake lines. So this is definitely the fronts. And the other front is right there. That's the other front and this is the rear. Let's take a look at it real quick. I'll take out the rear. This little knob on top, sometimes it lets you adjust the dampening. It doesn't look like I can on my, uh, on these ones. So you can't adjust dampening, which is fine. And these little, this guy snuck over here. How'd you get over here so fast? Yeah, they're already like doing all the work for me, man. I don't even have enough time to help them. Um, but yeah, so these little, whatever they call it, I, they have a name for these. I can't think of it right now, though. Um, lock? Neck lock? Something like that. Can't think of it. But these, obviously, are for the ride height. You can adjust the spring rate, too, by kind of tightening it up a little bit. I think we're just gonna keep the spring rate how it is on each on each one. The ride height will adjust after we lower it the first time just to see where she's sitting, but you literally just make sure this is off. So if it's on, it won't move it. So just take it off. We'll spin this left to raise it more. Right to, right to lower it more. Okay guys, big update because I couldn't film at all there. There's a bunch of people here. Um, that I don't know, and I don't know if they're okay with me filming them. So we, well, I say we, Wait, Chris and Zach, honestly, some kind of go support them, guys, because if it wasn't for them, parts, these things like this wouldn't ever get done. I, having to record and oh. do it at the same time is next to impossible. Oh, we found the cold part. <laughs> okay, so while we still have the front up in the air, Chris, give them a quick little run through of what you got to do here. Uh, Just so they know in case they're wondering. So you gotta pop out the upper ball joint. Upper ball joint, upper ball joint. You gotta disconnect this stupid disconnect boy. Disconnect that stupid boy. And then, uh, two top heads. The two top heads. And, and you're uh, good? And then your car is ready to be stupid friggin' the junk, junk Japanese. <laughs> Chris works at a uh, Chrysler dealership now, so now no, he thinks he's uh, super cool. And he doesn't like Japanese oh, cars anymore. He's got, I'm super cool. <laughs> he's got a GTI. He's a cool boy for the Japanese oh, cars. Oh, yeah. Just a couple months ago, he had the coolest Miata around town. Yeah, super cool. <laughs> it was cool. You got, no. I used to use your picture in my, uh, whenever I would put like a top 10 rear wheel drive cars under something, I would use your ad on Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that for a while. Uh, I had like a 
like a, a TikTok video talking about yeah, that, place yeah, cars. Yeah, Alec, and Alec. my car gained it up on there, and I didn't really like that. <laughs> well, yours has been seen by like hundreds of thousands of people on <laughs> YouTube. I didn't like that. I don't know that guy. <laughs> We're gonna keep it that way. The rears are already done. As you can see, Zach Ow, mother. already got, he literally did this all by himself, so I have no idea what he did. Uh, I wish I could tell you guys. I was messing with this, the height, getting the height situated over there on that table. I turn around and Zach's like, oh, the back's done. He goes to the other side to do the other back. Chris, the fronts are obviously always a little bit more uh, difficult because yeah, they have so much more working parts, but now you can kind of see what's going on in the rear here, so because he's done this side now. So pretty much it's just probably, obviously there's top hats, you gotta get some interior pieces out. Actually, no you don't, it's just this little. So if you come in the back, you see this little thing here. You just pop this right up. And then right underneath there is your top hats to your strut. Uh, it's obviously on each side, so this side here, he already took the top hats off that one. But yeah, oh, why is this on here still? I'm gonna take this off. It ain't supposed to be on there. There's your dampening, I knew there was dampening. So there is a dampening setting right there. Uh, it's covered by this little red piece. I, I was, I knew there was gonna be there. I just didn't know <laughs> where it was. So if you do want to adjust the damping, you can. I'm not going to right now. We obviously, it's a rough draft right now. We just put it in. We adjust everything afterwards to see what, how I want it and all that stuff. But yeah, for right now, that's this side is done. It's super simple over here. You literally just take the top hats off the top uh, and the backs. Then down here, I can't see, but down here. There is this little bolt right there, and that's literally it for the rear. So there's nothing else you got to do for the rear. Um, it's super simple. Super simple, super simple. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, guys, look at this little sneak peek. It's not like a build or anything like that, but I got, like, the the eye, eye light. What do they call them? What, what am I thinking of? The head, no, eyelashes. The eyelashes for the Z. My sister gave me those for Christmas. They look super sick, so once I get the headlights on them, they're going on. What are you laughing at, Chris? Yeah. You, I like <laughs> Man, you, yeah. you, you're a hater for no reason. Okay. <laughs> Look how stupid yeah, low it is in the back, guys. I actually love how low that is in the back. I think that's going to be perfect, especially we're going to get a little bit, the wheels are actually going to be a little smaller, honestly, so it's going to even look better than that. Because these are 15s, so we are going to go up a size to 16s, but the it's definitely not going to be a 65 sidewall. It'll probably be like a 35 sidewall. If you guys need any help, he doesn't. No, it for, he, stop it. <laughs> I don't do this for free. He does it for free. Bill. I'm gonna copyright your YouTube. <laughs> yeah. But all right, I'll let you guys. I'll update you guys when we're farther along in the process. We're just kind of struggling right now, trying to get this lined up down there. And when I'm filming, I can't help him. So. You don't help him. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do the dampening now. Actually, it's really simple. Wow, he keeps lifting this whole car off the jack stands. Look at this jack stand. <laughs> <laughs> the jack stands aren't even <laughs> Okay, for dampening, here you go. So this little knob on the top, there's gonna be a red piece on it if you're getting max speeding rods. I gotta stop leaning on this car, it's gonna fall off. Uh, you just turn it the amount of times that you need to. So I already did it, but hold on, I gotta hold this better. There we go, perfect. So I turned it all the way to the left and then you turn it every click, you just count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, 24. So you do 12, just right in the middle at first. Then if you really want to get into the tuning aspect, you can do that later. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now it's right in the middle. Uh, it's not going to be super bouncy or super stiff or anything like that so we're good with that and then obviously if you really are like a race car driver you would already know that stuff anyway i don't have to tell you that but in case you don't know it you would just this thing is such a pain to get in you would just um there we go you just adjust that over time take it for out see how it feels i think if i'm not mistaken i think in the back you want the dampening to be a little bit higher than in the front but I don't really care. I'm putting 12 on each. 12 is on this corner. 12 is on that corner. 12 is going to be on this corner. And 12 is going to be on that corner. Probably never going to touch it, to be honest. It's probably going to be fine on me unless I notice it's super bouncy. Then I'll uh, dampen it a little bit better. Um, once again, also with the springs, for everybody wondering, yes, you can adjust the spring rate on these. 
show you to do that too. I don't touch that. They usually, a lot of people don't touch the spring rate from factory. It's perfectly fine. If you touch the spring rate too much, you might be, uh, you might, you might get it way too bouncy or you might get it way too stiff. And that's when you see all those static guys driving around and their cars are like, they're like <laughs> bouncing off of every pothole. That's why they stiffen up their springs like crazy. So if you want the ultimate low, then yeah, you would but I just, I, both my coilovers, I just kept the spring rate, how it comes. I don't touch the springs on any of the coils. They're all set to the same for each side and they're all set to what the company thinks is right. So usually they're pretty good. <laughs> I don't want to be driving around banging my head on my roof of my car every time I go over a pebble. So I'm not going to stiffen them up and I don't want to be bouncing around like I'm driving a trampoline everywhere I go. So I'm not going to loosen them up. I'm just going to keep it like that. I think it'll be perfect. But if you wanted to do that, you just loosen this right here. I'm not going to be able to do that because I only have one hand and you need a spanner wrench for that. But you loosen that right there and you just tighten it up. It can go up to here and the springs will be like really compressed or you can lower it more too if you want to. But like I said, I'm just going to keep it like that. My vlog. I got it all, man. Wow! All the coil, coil overs are in on my car. The coil overs. The coil overs. The coil overs. The yeah, yeah, guys. Make me a ride, you coil. Smooth, smooth. Okay, guys. So we got the coil overs in. Uh, from Max P, use code smooth. Use code smooth. Um, yeah, it was pretty hard. Now I'd get up and show you, but I'm really fat and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get up and show you, but if I can zoom right there. No, you can't zoom. You can't. Tell them what you're doing. Uh, Today we are raising up Mark's coilovers. <laughs> That's a heavy, that's a heavy No, I'm in. recording. You oh, have to keep oh, this all right. the video. I was like, all right. So we got him all Iced done. Out, he's down, just, he's just adjusting the rears. Honestly, in the front, at first, the fronts were very much higher. They were the fronts were, the fronts were higher than their backs. Yeah, but I know what I'm doing, so. But now, after they're all like evened out, they're all even. Except for that back right one, so we're gonna change that one real quick, but. Yeah. Cause, yeah, so guys. Look at that! No all, all, in, all in the day of life of being blue collar, guys. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you guys. Obviously the car is jacked up, and so this side is way lower than the other side. But it is very even. It looks dumped in the front compared to the back. It, trust me, it's even. Uh, we'll show you after it's lowered back onto the ground again. And then we have to take a, full, a little bit of a test drive. Dampening is obviously fine, but I'm only worried about the spring right now. Make sure the spring rate's fine. Should be fine. Uh, rubbing could be an issue, but I honestly don't think it will because this is while the car is lifted like the other side, and I still have enough room to like, you know what I mean? So I feel like it should be fine up there. This will definitely be fine. This is no big deal whatsoever. Oh, wow. <laughs> really close to the uh, fender liner, but that's fine. It ain't touching, that's all that matters. Looks like, it feels like the fronts are already, uh, you can't roll the front fenders on these cars, so that's fine. But yeah, looks good in my opinion. There it is, man. So, you know, this side, don't even play with me, guys. Don't even play with me. Someone's playing with me, and I don't like it. I, it's almost perfect in my opinion. Like, you look at it from the back. That is sick, guys. And once it's all filled out with nice wheels on that bad boy, it's gonna look even better. We're gonna take it for a test drive real quick. But once again, thank you, Max Speeding Rods. Oh, look, at Ben's filled with me now. Now I feel it's like, now I feel it's like, use code SMOOTH for 10% off your purchase at checkout. Link is gonna be in the description as well. But yeah, we're gonna take it for a test drive now. Drive it, Zach's gonna be the passenger. He knows he's gonna feel it up. He's gonna feel me up. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 can I do the cup? Oh, it looks so cool. Come here, Mark. Yeah, yeah, part. yeah, cut. All right, guys. So, first, first drive, 
feels perfectly fine making a couple weird noises that honestly it might have been making before that i just didn't think of and i'm just noticing them now because i'm skeptical film that banging noise by the way guys is the uh stupid struts in the back of the car so they're gonna keep doing that until i take them out it, uh, it's a little bit like bouncier than before obviously but besides that it's not bad it's not it's bad Ride. It really is. For a lowered car, like I, I, we are on a very smooth road, though. So maybe if I get to another a bumpier area. Dude, it's not bad at all. Not bad at that's all. way better than my Z. It's a little bouncy, but like honestly, that's fine. I don't really care. I was worried more about scraping off everything. Dude, this thing, is, I like it. Yeah, dude, not bad. I like it a lot. I'm really happy with it. Like, that wasn't even that bad. No, that was, that was I don't know what they did. Did you, like, special order symbols? Yeah. <laughs> no, they just sent them to me. So, guy, absolutely, I... I gotta be honest, with the max speeding rod coilovers for the Z, over time, I kind of, you know... Yeah, they, you also beat them. Yeah, I beat the crap out of those ones, so that it really is my fault. But over time, they started falling apart, and I didn't really like them that much anymore. These are automatically 100 times better than those Z ones. Max speeding rods, you guys are stepping up your game. I honestly, I really am impressed. It's really nice. Good job. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And Hopefully more. Felice Navidad. Felice, legal minute. <laughs> Hopefully more Integra builds to come very, very shortly. I know you guys have been waiting for really long on this. I'm sorry to make everybody wait, but here it is. It's a budget build, so I caught, bought the car for 3000 This is the first time I put any sort of money into the car. I got the coilers for free, but if you buy them and you use code SMOOTH on the checkout for 10% off, you can get them for $200. So right now we're at 3200 Hopefully going to keep it below 5000 That's the plan. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Das with Tanya and have a nice night.